Okay, so welcome back to what I think is part three. I'll just uh, just take my time here at the moment just to show you a few little things because it's quite good. This is quite intuitive. Get your weapon there. As soon as you put your finger on the trigger, now you got you. That's quite good. At the moment I've got it set up now, so instead of holding instead of pushing the, the whole button and it stays as soon as you let go it's a bit of a pain there because it it's around after a bit but it's a bit better I think knife I do like that must admit and also you've got your Torch, switch that on, pick your gun up, just your torch around. You've got that, that's pretty cool. Also, if you can get it right. Thank you. Operator, let it be that way, be that way, want it. Anyways, right. Next part of this is can be difficult if you make it difficult. So I'm going to go right ahead with this and uh, see what we do. But first of all, obviously, look around for stuff. Not sure if there's anything down here. This will get opened up later on, but I'm just having a look now. Nope. Okie dokie. Alright, so when you come down here, there's going to be a werewolf. Now, you could stay there and fight him, but it's easier, I found, by chance, to just run it straight up there. Straight up there. And it brings you into another cutscene. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. After I've had a look in here. Because he does come around there. Hopefully I haven't triggered too much off of you. So basically you just gun it. Jump the fence, jump the fence, come on, jump the fence. Oh Jesus, I think I've messed this up completely. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you can, if you do it right, you can run into gun it. Just come to you. Oh no, I think I've uh, I think I've fucked up here. You know what? I'm gonna restart this. I mean I'm there, I've got past them, I just you know there's an easy way of doing this. you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. 
and she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Sure, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> Tell you what, they got the motion capture on this really good. And the facial expressions. Well impressive. It's gonna really happen. All we've got to do is open this gate up and we're in the house. Remember this? That's where that other plaque is, or it is. Come on, it's clear. used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. All in good time. Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Uh-uh. Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Yes, yeah, well, mate. If Elena Keep trusts working. you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. So, another save point if you need it.
Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Right, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch. And you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Tomorrow? Tomorrow we're all just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good idea. Come. Great ones, hear our voice, together as one in reverence. We call on thee, within the endless dark, to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory. Mother Miranda. Richard. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> oh, yeah. bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> Needs to find 
keys. To the van. Any other goodies that are around? Hint there. Lock and loaded. That'll come in handy in a bit. Right. Nothing else, I don't think. <coughs> and this bit's pretty straightforward. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> That'd be Go good. On. <coughs> Come on. It'll hold. <coughs> There. That's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. He said my name. Father! Wait, it's not safe. No. No. Stay there. Come on. Give me your hand. Ethan, go. Save your daughter. 
Lena, don't give up. Reach for me. She could have made it there. I just I don't get it. Why the fuck is this happening again? Oh, shit! That looks stupidly like that does. Alright, done that. There's nothing else around here. I don't believe. So now it's a case of getting the old screwdriver, grab a hold, put it in. Hassle, I think. I mean, if you want to take her on, that's up to you. Not me. I'll try to save me ammo for later. There's a few goodies in here somewhere. I'm sure there's another crate somewhere up here.
Okay, maybe not. That trick with the flower though, I didn't realise that until way away. Temporary blinds the enemy. That's good that is a lot though. Good little tip. I think that's everything. I've been in there. Yep, been there also. Yep. Oh, it's okay. Dead. And I believe once you get the cog for this, there are this stuff that's on the end of there, which is of value. Okay, so final one in the door. Huh? 